This is tonight. U.S. biotech firm Moderna has acquired Japan's Ori Zero Genomics for $85 million. This is its first acquisition globally, although it already has a presence in Japan, as well as other countries, including Singapore, South Korea and Australia. Uh, Moderna says the move will bolster its suite of platform technologies. And uh, I spoke with its CEO, Stefan Bansel, just moments ago, and he tells me that the company is on the lookout for the best science in the world and how a Asia could have a place in that. What we want to do at Moderna is to build the best m and company in the world. And we take a very long-term view on things. We're thinking about how do we build that for the next 5, 10, 15 years. And so we said that we want to invest in science at Moderna, and we're doing that extensively. We have around 500 people just working on expanding the m and operating system. But we do not believe the best science will always come from our labs. And so we want to find the best technologies in the world. And so recently we've done a partnership with a company called Metagenomy in California. There was a licensing, so we get a license to their patents and to their technology. And today we're announcing our first acquisition, it's actually in Japan, uh, of a company called Ori Silo, who, which is a company that has developed an amazing technology to cut the manufacturing time of mRNA. And so we think this is very, very enabling and powerful for us. So we are acquiring this company. We're going to grow this company. And it's coming from Japan because we do not care where the science comes from. We want the best science. We get us away comes in the world. So what does this acquisition say about the strength of the biomedical technology industry uh, right here in Asia? I think it just confirms what you know we've known for quite a while is that the quality of the academic work in Asia, in Japan, you know, in China, all over Asia is very, very strong. What I think has been sometimes lacking in Asia, and you might know, you know, I, I used to live in Japan, you know, in the 90s, is a bit like in Europe, which is historically, compared to the US, the venture capital network, the culture of entrepreneurs was not as developed as America. But Asia and Europe have already caught up, and this is just a great example today of the amazing science, entrepreneurs, and venture capital community existing and growing in Asia. So it's exciting for the world. And so with that, you know, are you looking to invest anywhere else in this region? Uh, also, you know, what are your priorities for Asia? Sure. So, you know, we are very aware that there's a lot of people in Asia, and we want, of course, to protect them. As you know, we've been active with our COVID-19 vaccine across most countries uh, in Asia. What we want to do is to develop products that are specific for Asia. You know, there are diseases, as you know, like dengue is a good example, chikungunya, that are more present in Asia than they are uh, in the rest of the world, and we want to do that. So we want to partner. We're expanding in Asia right now. You know, we're increasing teams, building teams in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in Malaysia. We'll do more countries as we go. We already are present in Japan and South Korea. And so we are also looking at manufacturing capabilities in Asia Pacific. You know, we're building a plant in Melbourne, Australia. We're looking at overlocation in Asia. So Asia is a very big part of our strategy. As I said, you know, I lived in Asia, you know, for four years. So I know the strength of the region, the, the, the talent base that exists in Asia, the work ethics that exists in Asia. Of course, it's the biggest population on the planet in Asia. And so uh, there's a lot of reason why, why we, we are very long in Asia and we are very excited about Asia. Uh, Mr. Bansal, you know, Moderna has been a huge part in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, how has the pandemic and a surge in demand for new medicines accelerated the growth of the industry? Yeah, so if you think about Moderna, and then I can talk about the industry, but for Moderna, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has most probably accelerated the company development by five years. And so... What the company is now is in a position of having grown a lot. You know, we are 800 people before COVID at the company. We're 4,000 at the end of last year, a few week, uh, last week, and we're going to be 6,000 at the end of 23. So we're going to grow the company again 50% by adding 2,000 people this year across the globe. And so, and the growth of medicine is really important. We have new vaccine phase three data coming in Q1 this quarter. Just before Christmas, we shared with a very exciting cancer data showing we can reduce by 44% for skin cancer the risk of recurrence. And that was compared to the best drug on the market. And so we're also working on cardiac disease. And so a lot of new technology are going to be accelerated thanks to, to the progress of Moderna, thanks to the pandemic.